Once a mouse came to a mystic because it was troubled by a cat, and the mystic asked, what do you want? The mouse answered, the cat is chasing me. Please make me a cat. The mystic said, so be it. And the mouse became a cat. Sometime later, the mouse cat returned with a complaint. The dogs are chasing me. So what do you want? Said the yogi. Please make me a dog. So saying a mystic mantra, the yogi turned the cat into a dog. In time, the mouse dog came back. But now, there's a lion, and he's trying to eat me. You want to be a lion? Yes. All right. Mantra. Become a lion. And so the mouse became a lion. And as he sat beside the yogi, he started to lick his lips. Mm. Here's a good meal, he thought. The yogi understood the lion's intentions, so he wanted to eat me. The lion just looked hungry. Then again become a mouse, and the lion again resumed its original mouse body. Similarly, we have a God-given intelligence. We use it to solve the recurrent inconveniences of life, but when our intelligence turns against our Creator, against the natural way of things, against the laws that govern man, then again, we will become a mouse. Watch it. Don't misuse your intelligence for endless consumerism and sense enjoyment, for creating demoniac weapons to destroy your neighbor, to exploit the environment that you inhabit. If you do, once again, you'll become a mouse. Use your intelligence to solve the problems of life, birth, death, old age, and disease.